And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Super Featherweight World Tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next quarterfinal about to kick off. In the red corner, Kosuke Komiyama taking on, in the blue, Paolo Tabar. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what transpires in the ring tonight. Yeah, another uh, interesting stylistic matchup here as Komiyama. Kosuke Komiyama is a karate style. Yes. I know. So yeah. I look to see some uh, awesome low kick, high kick, and mid kick action yeah. from the red corner. And he always throws something really, <clears throat> really just interesting mm. each, each fight, whether it's kind of side kick or kind of a solid punch, like big, uh, big right hand or something. Mm. Yeah, he's so great with this sense, constantly moving and, and, and great at timing with the legs. Mm -hmm. Wide stance as well. Um, oh, you're definitely more, more of an orthodox, yeah. traditional style fighter. Yeah. Guard up, going to try to walk him down, but everybody who tries to just walk Kumiyama down, you know, they have trouble. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clashing with the low kicks, mm -hmm. good time on the counter, yeah. but losing his balance. He's the fighter in the blue. I'm going to definitely yep, we'll kind of walk him down. I get him in that corner. Just get out of the range of the mid kick there. Really long kicks. That's, yeah. I mean, I'm, ooh, nice, powerful right to the chest. He's got to make sure that he's not um, eating, eating shots for free. Here. No. Yeah. Yeah, good, good check, check there. there. Yeah, perfect check, man. Got yeah, protected nice. his body. Um, I see that every day. Yeah, good, good movement. Just the, the circling there from Kimiyama the throwing off uh, the fighter in the blue to bar mm. and creating uh, these opportunities here. Yeah. Hello. Waiting for an opening, but just not finding it, and he just, ooh, mm. it's spinning back for us there. You have it. Yeah, great timing on that technique there. Ooh, nice. You're doing that karate stance, man. Yeah. Well, and dropping the jab down to the body. Those yeah. body shots, he dividends later on. Mm -hmm. All the best K1 fighters do great body work. Mm -hmm. So don't poo poo with a jab to the body. <laughs> no. Because it is effective. Wow, man, Kumiyama is just throwing all the all, all the attacks here. Paulo just does not have a target. And this is man, this is so much what we see from Kumiyama Kosuke, uh, Kosuke Kumiyama here. He uh, this pot shot on the outside, bomb, 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 frustrating his opponent. His opponent will commit to something big, boom, and then they'll eat a, mm -hmm. a big shot. Wow, that that first shot went by. Really quick. Well, here we have it at the end of the first round. And Kamiyama definitely uh, looking like he was on the winning end of that round. Yep, they're in the corner of Kamiyama Kosuke Takase Daiju, who has a win over Anderson Silva. Oh, wow. By triangle choke submission, I believe. That's a nice, mm, fancy hair as well. Oops, sticking the lead hand downstairs, going up high. Miyama going to be busy. I think, you know, here in the second round, Aulo Tabar is probably going to feel the pressure to put on more pressure, and that's going to create more opportunities mm. for uh, the fighter in the red to throw some counters. But we'll be interested to see how it plays out. Yeah. Segunda, segunda. The, the, uh, the boxing brothers. The Kameda Cube. Oh, yeah. Love and boys are boxing. <laughs> We have it now. Paulo definitely trying to step step up his game and get some points. Kamiyama yeah. um, is making that very difficult here, just in the first few seconds. Yeah, 
just having Paulo go chase him all over the ring. Yeah. Paulo has some great power, but his movement is very linear. Mm -hmm. Did a better job there of cornering Komiyama. But that linear movement, uh, Komiyama's gonna really be able to exploit that mm -hmm. and use it to his advantage. Ooh, slick, man. There was no way um, that, you know, even though with our peripheral vision we can see beyond 180 degrees, yeah. there is no way, unless you've got chameleon eyeballs, that you'd be able to pick up that hook, man. Great wow. shot from Kimmy Kind of played off of the, uh, the, the, the will fit there, too, you know, waiting for, yeah. you know. Wait, you, you, I'm not going to clinch? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for following the rules, so now I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play inside of that rule set. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just crafty, man. Using his head as much as his uh, physicality. Oh, follow the business of oh, yeah. medicine. There you go. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Yep, yep. Fighting out of the clinch, and that's what it's all about. Don't depend on the ref. Fight your way out of that. Ooh. Mm. I'm getting a little bit salty. Yeah, <laughs> these guys are. He's getting a little heated here in the ring. I bet he did not enjoy getting his own going punch thrown back at him. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, uh, Paolo doing a better job Way of better. controlling the ring here. Way better job. He's adding some attacks mm, uh, there you go. On, with his steps. Mm. You know, he's not just waiting to get to the corner. Exactly. He's, he's, he's trying to stepping. set it up, right? Mm, yeah. Hitting on the step, which is weird. Yeah, cause you, if you try to cut someone off, but you don't do anything, they're, they're going to be aware where they're on the ring as well. But if you're doing that, throwing punches, throwing kicks, they might yeah. forget that they, how close they are to the rope or not you get a little yes. bit disorientated, and then when they end up in the corner, then you can start letting loose. Yeah, exactly. You can use the strikes, too, to corral a little bit more mm -hmm. effectively. You want to yeah. move to the right and with the left hook mm -hmm. a little bit. Use those punches, those kicks to you can set them up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm a, not having as much success this round. Um, to a good job. Excellent job. That was a fast round as well. Yeah, they're, they're just zipping by. They really are. Mm. It's heating up a lot more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right at the, the bell. The round there. is going to be ripping. Man. Yeah, it's gonna, that's what it's going to come down to. I think, um, I think Paolo, Paolo definitely... Um, didn't dominate that round, but definitely did a lot better than the yeah. first round. I'm sure the judges have noticed that. So uh, Yeah, well, there's no way he's come all the way from Brazil <laughs> to lose this match. No. He wants to make it all the way to the end, end of the tourney. And this is just the quarterfinals, so he's got to pick up a win here to get to that semifinal round. You play here. Mm. Yeah, some real good just give and take from both these guys. Mm. Nice front kick at the end there from Komiyama, but he's going to need to put together um, some more damaging shots. Single the You know, very likely it's about a round of peace here. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, beginning of the third round in this uh, final bout in our Super Featherweight Tournament. Mm. Miyama definitely picking up the pace in the last round. Maybe he got a little bit of a rest last round. And, uh... Yeah, he's got to stay busy. The bar looking real confident right here, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and cutting the ring off better, not moving as linearly, moving more in sort of vector. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting, Getting the Christmas angle. tree shape. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think, you know, maybe the first run he, he got, his head was too too much into the rule set, maybe. Mm. And I think after uh, after that hook, <laughs> in the second <laughs> round, he was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna go at it. And look up the Kraken, man. Yeah, he, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's moving better. And he does, Tabar does a great job of just defending kicks as well. He cuts a lot of kicks. Mm -hmm. He checks them, man. That's good to see. 
Mm. Sometimes you'll see guys just want to counter every shot, but blocking kicks is really effective. Yeah. Yeah, because if, if you block them, then you, the person doesn't want to throw them as much because it, it hurts, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You should think twice, man, especially when, when, you, when you get a, a good check in there. You're like, ouch. Oh, that didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do that again. Um, the time, man, the time is just moving mm. away here little by little. And um, mm. it's still real even. Nice series of front kicks. Yeah. Crowd is definitely going full scale. Yeah, someone, someone has got to uh, land something defining here. A minute left here in the third third round for the final. That fight is looking, looking a little bit, a little bit drained. Yeah. Yeah, it's 45 <laughs> seconds now. Oh, throwing it out there. Ooh, oh, oh. caught him. Up. That was a clean counter. Ooh, coming forward, man. 30 seconds. We gotta see something big you know, happen. Some magic that's happened here, man. These guys, these guys are feeling every second of this third well, round. The here. last thing you want to do in the first round of the tournament is go to an extension round. No, do not want that. At mm -hmm. all. Ooh, big, big head kick there. Um, yeah, like, he's doing. He's trying to pull away. You can feel it. He's mm -hmm. trying, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, St. Japanese gucha gucha there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, I, I really don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the, uh, what the judges decide here. Um, you know, maybe Komiyama doing just a smidgen more work. And, uh, I don't know, man. That's, that's a close one. Yeah, I mean, you know, he did land lots of good, lots of good kicks throughout the whole fight. Yeah. Um, the front kick is so effective. For yeah, him. yeah. Good counters as well. Paulo didn't really do any countering, but yeah, now. Wow, this is a big, big, uh, well, yep, big so threat. Yeah, they're pulling that shit as well. There you go, yeah. The judges were preferring the action there mm -hmm. from Mr. Komiyama. So that means he advances to the next round. Yeah, he has another fight to go. <laughs> I'm sure he's happy about that. Yeah, man. <laughs> They have at the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Super Featherweight World Championship at Yoyogi National Gymnasium, Second Gymnasium. See you next time.